Coverage continues with Brandon Walker in Louisiana right now as communities prepare for Ida. Yeah, he is in Delacro Island. Brandon, what's the mood there like right now? Yeah, well, it's a cautious one, Christine, where we are here on Delacour Island. You can take a look. We're at the Serigny uh, boat launch, which it's quiet at the moment, but it's been very busy here all morning. It was busy here yesterday, too. You've got a lot of boaters trying to get their equipment uh, here out of the water. It's a way of life for many people. It's also a sport, and uh, so they're just trying to protect what they need to do. We've got some video from earlier showing those crabbers, those shrimpers doing just that, getting their equipment out of the water. Boat launches here in St. Bernard Parish have been busy all day yesterday too in anticipation of Sunday when Ida is expected to make landfall. Today everyone here has a sense of urgency because low-lying parishes like St. Bernard where we are are currently along the storm's path and could get hit hardest especially here on the wrong side of a floodgate which will close at some point. Some people take them right outside the uh, levee over here and park them but the last storm we had here it turned over all the uh, campers, pushed all the boats off the highway. So they're still doing it this year, but I, don't, I take mine all the way back to Lacombe. Yeah, he's getting his boat on the other side of the wall there, too. Back here live at the boat launch. Again, a bit of a lull, but you've got a lot of crabbers and shrippers out there in the water getting their equipment. One of the crabbers told me he's got like 800 traps. You multiply that, you're talking about millions of dollars in infrastructure here that they're trying to save. We're live in Delacroix Island, about 30 miles south of New Orleans proper. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News. Brandon, thank you. Stay with KPRC 2 for continuing coverage of Ida. Robert Arnold will join Brandon on the ground in Louisiana as the storm makes landfall. You can see their live reports all through the day and this weekend.